Hi all, my name is Tom Rum and welcome to Night Bites, the new series where we look at the little and not so little updates for Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. It has been announced and Jill Hewley is actually going to be a unit for Ever Crisis and I think I can speak for a lot of us saying we didn't actually think this was going to be a real unit. We thought it was going to be a story unit or story unit at first, but no, they are dropping this off. They are going to give us a new unit straight away. Let's move the game out of the way just a little bit. Giving us a new limit break called Heaviest Assault, which we know about. We know there's going to be probably two or three limit breaks day one, straight as normal. And we've got the fact that he's coming to the story as the new lead uh, on top of Sephiroth for Chapter 2 of Final Fantasy VII First Soldier. So why are we making this video? Because that's pretty much all the news. Well, it's because we actually got uh, a miniature campaign on X, formerly Twitter. And essentially... If you go through and go onto these links, which we'll have provided below in the uh, both the description and in the comments, there will be two links if you go onto them, onto an account. If you don't have an account, just make one up quickly. It will be really minimal. And honestly, it, sh it will help quite a lot for players. Make one up and just repost it. So literally just come over here and hit here, repost. Why do we want to do that? Well, if a thousand people do it across both the English version and the Japanese version, we get 30 Mithril Ore. At 2,000 redemptions, ten, uh, a free temple, which on top of probably getting around 60 to 70 tickets already for Angel as we get for any unit. At 2,500, we get a Type 90 Longsword, which is looks very similar and practically identical to Zach's, but just an earlier model. And at 3,000, we get two. Now, that sounds really simple to achieve, because it is. But what people may not remember is actually there were extra rewards for other units we've got in the past for 5,000 and I believe 7,500 and 10,000. Usually just more copies of the same weapon. Just, uh, sorry, just, uh, let's just hit and restart on the energy. You know, having it in the background for people. Uh, so it would help. I think you already should do this. You can make an account really, really quickly. You can literally just go and make one with your Google or Apple account. Just hit repost here and repost on this one. And on the 16th, which is when the drop uh, this story drops, uh, which is First Soldier Chapter 2, and the character drops, we'll get a bunch of free weapons. Honestly, the more we can get for free, the better. I don't know actually know how many people are going to be pulling on this unit. So... The more stuff we get for free, the less stuff you're going to have to pull day one. And you never know. Yeah, we've spoken about it in the guild very briefly. We do think because the unit is dropping so close to a guild ranking that this unit will be useful for guild ranking as well. So that gives you a rough idea of what to work with. That's pretty much all we've got for this video. I'll make sure the links are below and I'll make sure that you lot can access whatever you need to. Tell me what you think about Angeal because honestly, I don't know how many of us have an opinion yet. I know that Nightlight wants to do a breakdown of all the weapons he gets and we will have charts going through everything. If there is anything to know about Angeal, we will have it written down for you. That is all. Thank you for watching. And yeah, let us know what you think and if you'll be pulling on the unit. Take care and goodbye.